Hey, good evening everyone, FPS Chazza here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters Red Storm Rising. Oh, I'm going through, this is the killing ground first of all. I'm playing as a, uh, the parry this time. It's our second to last go through this mission, which means Red Storm Rising. It's going to be over in like two weeks or so. And then we're moving on to Silent Hunter 4, it has been determined. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. So, we got the same stuff going on. There's going to be, like, a sub here. But, uh, we're also going to have to deal with, uh, just not that sub like we did with the Hilo and the P3. We're also going to have to deal with, the, um, those patrol boats that come in here and then the, the backfires eventually as well. And these guys are still hauling ass. For some reason, they start out, like, Mach, almost, like, Mach 2.5 in this mission or something, man. They're going fast as hell. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess we can get our Hilo out to look for these these dudes up here link established. these uh this freaking sub that's around here whatever somewhere i don't think we'll be able to find them here because i mean it looks like this area is small just like how it's all laid out it makes it look kind of cozy but it still is really like a pretty large area there's our p3 from last time there's our our seahawk that we played as but uh yeah it's hard to believe the rest of rising is almost coming to a close Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, t today's, like, marks the halfway point of the year, and this has been around for the half, like, half a year. It's craziness, man. Probably gonna be my longest LP ever. I don't know. We'll see about that, but it's pretty long. That's what she said. All right, we got ship control on this helo now, so let's uh, go ahead and take him and start sending some buoys. No, I don't really want a waypoint. I just want some buoys. Let's uh, set some Vlad Shallows here. Uh, I can't really, can't really set the, um... The frickin', what am I trying to say? You can't set the helos booty load out really very well. It kind of sucks. But just a fact of life here. Alright, so we'll let him do his thing. I'm gonna stream. Uh, I would stream the Nixie, but I hear the Nixie makes noise, so unless you're not actually being engaged upon, it's probably not a good idea just to put that out willy nilly. If we have to launch another helo, we're in the wind envelope, and we're within the pitch and roll characteristics as well, so that's all good. We probably only have one helo loaded out, though, as we have this whole time. Now we have two helos, actually. Interesting. Very well. I'm not foreseeing having to launch the second helo, though. But uh, maybe I could load it up with a strike a strike loadout in case we need it, if possible. You know what? I'm going to do that. Or the anti-service warfare in case one of our harpoons misses that patrol boat up there. But there's going to be plenty of ships engaging them. But, oh, uh, wait. Uh, before I do that, no, I don't want to. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. I'm going to turn aircraft quick launch off, just to make it a little more realistic as we go along here. Because uh, it's not like I need to get it out promptly or anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the quick launch on it, because I, I feel like it. So uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and speed up time here, it's probably going to get, um, uh, it's probably going to just, that sub's probably just going to come on the link anyway. So let's go ahead and do this here. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen so quickly like that. Alright, well, I clicked it at like 14.01, so I'm just going to wait a half hour before I start going to the other alert statuses there. That's fine, it's not too big a deal. This water's decently deep here. Decently deep. What is this? That is not what he is doing. <laughs> uh, I guess I should probably get my air radar going on here, shouldn't I? Yeah, we'll go ahead and put the air radar up. Just so when that, uh, that helo comes out, or when those backfires come out, we actually get notification that they're freaking here. I don't know if I want to put that buoy there. Let's put it over here. And then let's get another buoy on this guy. Let's get another Vlad Shallow. And put it down here this way. Yeah, it looks good to me. I don't think he's going to be that close to the coast, honestly. He's probably going to be a little closer this way here. Yeah, it's hard to tell where they're actually going because the Aztec doesn't show terrain, so you got to, like, if you set like if you put a mark on your map though it will show up in the ass tag so you can use that if you if you need to. But uh, yeah, that should be good there. Um I guess we could try and stream out the toad a little bit or something. Oh, here come the uh, the Tomcaster. Oh no, there's some Harriers. Cool. More Harriers. Wow, I don't remember that those that many Harriers being around last time. Those are Link Harriers. I oh, know that this is this is a Link Harrier and then the radar one's lagging behind. Okay, so it's only two Harriers, it's not Oh, everybody, it looks like uh, these top cats are going very slow on station right now. Good fuel saving because they were definitely burning through a lot of fuel earlier. 
Alright, yeah, those movies down there are hot, but that's because there's a freaking this thing nearby. Yeah, let's try and get a little bit of this toad out here. The great thing about the toad on the uh, Stream the toad on the, the Oliver Hazard Perry here is you can sonar soup, torpedo in the what water, the hell? Bearing, zero, zero, four. TAO sonar soup, torpedo in the water, bearing zero, zero, four. TAO um, sonar soup, torpedo in the water. Okay, bearing, that's not good. Zero. zero Someone's launching torpedoes. Oh fuck. Uh, what's the depth on this thing? Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe I should stop this then. Shit, someone launched torpedoes. Okay, well we gotta go, um, ping in here. So what's the, uh, the best way to do this here? I want omni-rotational. So let's transmit and see what we get. Someone right there. TAO, sonar soup. New active track. One. Someone right here. Six TAO sonar soup new active track one zero. Oh my god, what one, is so close to seven. me? That's really close. What is that? What is that? That's really close, man. That's really close. What is that TAO, as well? Sonar soup. New active track. One, That's just that zero, guy right there. One, eight. Very well. Okay, well, crap. I don't know what that is right there. That's really close. Is someone launching like rocket torps or something here? I'm gonna launch a torpedo. Uh, yeah, no, let's just. Mm, it's something bad out there. Here, yeah, just let's just launch a torpedo right there. <laughs> Get rid of that and do that right here. Launch a torp. Uh, let me uh, set the range scale to 15 kilo yards and let's transmit again. Because it looks like there's something like... Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, he launched a... Somehow got a torp on my ass really close here. Maybe it's because as soon as I started streaming the toad, I picked it up or something. I want to flank. Oh god, this is not good. Here, bring this toad back in. Retrieve the toad around. Aye, sir. This is not good. This is not good indeed. So mark that guy. Yeah, drop a torp. I, I don't think it's a rocket torp. I think it's just a normal torp, but crap, man. This is not good. I might get hit with a torp here. Oh boy. Oh boy, indeed. I didn't think they'd be that aggressive, but I guess they normally haven't spawned that close to me. Or in the, the two previous attempts, this sub wasn't ever that close, really. Holy crap, just get out of there. Oh god. Yeah, we got this, the Nixie out there. We'll try and, uh... Be a little evasive like, here, so the... Nixie... So when the torpedo goes for the Nixie, it's not exactly, you know, going... Like... It's not... We're not on the same axis as the Nixie, so if the torpedo, like, gets the Nixie and then goes by it, it doesn't just head, like, straight for us. Kinda wanted to, like, kink off to the side or something. If it's gonna get the Nixie. That was a hard turn right there, man. I lost a lot of speed on that turn. Oh, it's because it never... Ugh. The, 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 the waypoints never work. It never wants to go flank speed on the waypoints. I don't Engine know why. Engine ahead flank. Uh, yeah, Go just... Ahead. Son of a bitch. God damn it. <sighs> of course, I get him right then. Alright, let's do this again. Alrighty, I'm back. So I got the toad streamed out right away now. As you can see right there, got the helo dropping buoys, but it looks like we got the sub on the link already. So he has not launched a 5365k on me yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, wait till we get him the proper way or something like that, because we got the sub buoys being dropped and stuff. So we'll just wait for that. It's not a big deal. And uh, we can go ahead and do the buoys ourselves here. Oh, I got Harriers flying over. There might or Tomcats. Have they scrambled to the frickin' submarine again, the Tomcats? <laughs> I don't get why they do that, man. It's so silly they have scrambled to the submarine. Alright, oh did I press a button to make this show up? Because I definitely did not mode. Out of range. Uh yeah, get a, give me air. It is on air. Why am I not Why is it whoa what? Wait, hold on. Oh, wrong buoy. I want channel 2. Channel 2. But yeah, this isn't on auto crew, so I don't know why I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the connection to be established here. Yeah, hurry up and establish. There you go. Mode. Okay, that kilo must be running silent then, because I'm not seeing him on that Vlad that's right there. Assuming that's even a correct solution. Not even sure. Oh, they got all their peeps heading up this way to prosecute. They're going crazy. I might as well ping, because <laughs> I feel like it. Here we go. Try and get a fix on this dude up here somewhere. Probably around here. 
There he is. Mark. Oh, it's actually right where the link says it would be. And I got all the air contacts flying around me right now. <laughs> I could shoot you down faster than you can. Oh, we got a, a Tomcat soaring over. Let's take a look. Where is he? Uh, where'd the Tomcat go? i probably too late to see him. It'd be so cool. Oh, I think he doubled back or something. Whoa. Why am I hearing, like, the missile launch noise? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, there's a Tomcat there as well. I think I was getting... Oh my god, all these people are scrambling. All the F-18s are here too? Good lord. <laughs> what the hell? Holy shit, they are flying by each other like it's nobody's business. Good lord. At least this is entertaining, I suppose. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think all these guys need to be here right now. It's just a sub. Well, let me go ahead and get my kill then, because they're going to try and jack it from me. And they're all in this keto like white on rice on a paper plate in a snow snowstorm, man, I tell ya. I never seen nothing like it. Are those I should be able to see those F eighteens now. They're kinda of flying around back there, aren't they? No? Is that wrong? No, there's definitely no, those are okay, yeah, that is wrong. I'm probably not gonna be able to see him. I wanna see him though. It'd be cool. There's the Hilo. Uh, he's decently close compared to these other aircraft, but I'm assuming a jet is a pretty big, good chunk bigger than a Hilo. I probably should be able to see it to some degree. Uh, yeah, there's the S3 Viking flying around. It's cool. Anything else flying around out there I should be able to see? I have, like, specs on my monitor. I need to clean my monitor, so it's kind of hard to... Yeah, let me get it right now. <laughs> Just lift my finger. Instant spec removal. Yeah, there's that other Seahawk just chilling. And I'm going to try and get my Hilo in there to get that kill before these guys jack it from me. Probably going to be flying around here for God knows how long until, uh... Like that one time when that Akula got detected up there, but... <laughs> they are all flying around this thing like it's nobody's business, man. It looks like a freaking, like, pack of ants or something. I don't know, pack of ants? What's a pack of ants? And they're all hauling ass, too. They're all flying around here like Mach 2.5. Like, it's all right, man. Just calm down. It'll be fine. Let's throw out another ping here. Range scale, 15 kilo yards. Transmit. I could have put an Omni down that beam or whatever, but it's not too big a deal. There he is again. Yep, exactly where that link says he should be. Alright, now get in there. No, don't drop it right there. Drop it over here. <laughs> Doesn't have to be that far away. Get in there and drop that toe up. You know you want to. Yeah, it's close enough. That's fine. Not a big deal. Oh, here comes the P3 as well. Are you kidding me? The P P3, why are you up here? There's a there's an Oscar 2 down here, man. Are you kidding me? Okay, I, I should have just done this earlier just to put an end to this madness. Alright, drop that bad boy. Away. There you go. In the water. Bearing three, Very good. Four, Looks like we got three, him here. His ass is grass, if you know what I mean. A little time acceleration never hurt anyone. There he is right there. Yeah, he's done. Done, peace. See you later. Hasta lasagna. Don't get any on ya. Okay, so I don't... I think there's any other sub. Oh, the other times I've played through, the next submarine that appears is like an Akula that's up that way. But there's definitely going to be an SSGN showing up that way. That P3 is like contradicting direct orders right meow or something, man. Hey, there he is. See ya. Power in the Kissa. <laughs> that's a good kill right there. That has a good kill. Very nice. Alright, let's just uh, keep speeding up some time then. That's fine. I guess I can bring that toad array back in if I wanted to. Yeah, I'm already saturated right now anyway. God, so much ESM going on. I wonder if I should just turn that on. Because we have a TMA, so he can sort that all out. Oh my god, it instantly classified all of them once. <laughs> yeah, I got the auto TMA on on. Right now, because I just don't really use it too much. That was a link track that we had going on back there with that, so. Uh, 
Did everyone has everyone bugged out now? Are they all calming down. Yeah. I was gonna take him forever to read all those EW tracks. Good lord. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause it and let him read that out loud because that's gonna get annoying. <laughs> Alright, he's finished reading off all that stuff so we can continue on with the mission here. Okay, for, in terms of us, I don't think much is actually gonna be happening for a while. I think uh, we're gonna have these guys show up from around here. Oh crap, what is that? Oh, that's a flanker. And I believe he's outside my range bubble. Okay, this is what I was seeing last time. It looks like these um, Tomcats are intercepting here. We'll go ahead and set this to 25 nautical miles. Yeah, it's not in same range even if I wanted it to be. And what are they launching? Amrams? Looks like an Amram to me. And then this is a Phoenix. Or whatever it's supposed to be. Platform reference. Yeah, it's the Phoenix. And the Amram. Cool. <laughs> I didn't realize they had about the same speed. I thought the Phoenix was a lot faster than an Amram. Looks like this guy's about to eat it. Eat it? Oh, maybe not. Looks like the missile missed a good bit. Well, if he gets any closer, he's gonna regret. He's gonna regret getting any closer because I'm gonna put an SM2 up his butt. But uh, yeah, I guess this is what I saw that one playthrough, and I didn't know what it was. It's an Su-33 Flanker D. Interesting. I would have expected a uh, fulcrum. Okay, he keeps like coming in from all kinds of different directions. I have no idea what's going on with that. Okay, that was another freaking phoenix on him. Okay, there you go. That's more like it. 3,000 knots. Sweet gravy. 3,000 knots. Was that like Mach 6 or something? That's insanity. Okay, well, maybe this flanker will eat it just now. Nope, he still seems to be with us here. No, I just heard that hit home. There you go. Cool. We got him. Nice. What's that over there? Is that the link contact? Yeah. Cool, man. Cool beans. Alright, let's just speed up some time here. Keep speeding up the time. Oh, God. Okay, I, I should turn off the link if we're going to be speeding up time here because it doesn't like when all this stuff is going on. Kind of freaking out in this mission a little bit with all this stuff going on. <laughs> but once I take all these guys out of the picture, it's fine. Sure, I'm playing for the time being. One of those ships should show up. I'll be able to get them on my own radar because I have both those turned on right now. Yes, I do. Just making sure I do. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. I guess I can scuttle those Sona buoys. They're kind of just like taking up more space in this mission right now. Uh, can I scuttle other people's Sona buoys? <laughs> can I go to channel 1 and scuttle that Sona buoy? Can I get that from the Hilo? Is he close enough? <laughs> I can scuttle it. <laughs> I can scuttle other people's Sona buoys. That's funny. Alright, yeah, let's just keep speeding up the time here. Oh, well, I'm going to end the episode right here, actually. That's, that's an episode right there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Can't believe I got sunk. It's kind of embarrassing. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So, uh, let's see, what are these arrows for? I don't know. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you then, and uh, have a good day.